0221-446-0567. And I've just seen a photograph of a crazy cloud over the sky last night at around 8 p.m. I don't know what time that sunbow, probably earlier than 8 p.m. So there were some interesting astral phenomena late yesterday. Uh, let's talk. We, we're going to be talking in a in a few minutes to somebody else who won a uh, um, a category award in the Western Cape Premier's Entrepreneurship Recognition Awards. But before we get to that, we're going to talk to somebody else who's won an award. Dave Lello of Ikasi Energy, the uh, winner in the Global Clean Tech Innovation Program for SMEs in South Africa, and has just launched a fabulous biomass stove and i have to say fabulous because that's the way it's spelt hello dave you put those extra a's in there to make sure people know it's fabulous <laughs> yeah well uh thanks john uh the reason fabulous is actually an acronym so i think these like acronyms so fabulous stands for forced air appliance base so we just added the fabulous on the end um so we're really trying to reinvent the way fire works and um, we've spent a number of years perfecting the technology but we have to do it in a way that is very inexpensive for the poor so if I were to build a machine that costs 5,000 Rand or even 1,300 Rand like a weaver it wouldn't sell so I've had to spend a lot of time making sure that this little device sells at under 500 Rand and what is this device? Uh, <laughs> okay. So, force, so uh, let, let me let me try and put this into my my porous brain. Forced, forced air. what? Forced air. Forced air appliance base. Okay. Forced air appliance base. What is yeah, a forced so, air appliance base stove? So, if we go and look at how wood uh, wood works works normally, there there are two real issues with wood. The one is that. Um, it's not very easy to light or keep burning. Uh, you need a draft. You normally have to put a chimney above it, and you need to the air gets drawn through the fire. And the second is is that it's very unwieldy to manage. It often blets off smoke. Smoke really is just unburned fuel. Whenever smoke emits out of the top of a fire, it means that the there wasn't enough air to mix the gas to combust it. So that means that every time we light a fire and the smoke goes out, the top, we just we just letting energy go into the air. So that's really what it is. So in the old days, if we had a fireplace and we wanted to make the fire work properly, we would have a bellows and we would put some logs in there and maybe some kindling and then we would blow a whole blow a whole lot of air into it to make sure that the fire started. Today we have fire lighters. We all rely on fire lighters for our fires. And what the fire lighter really does is it, it heats, the, heats the wood to a point that the wood starts releasing the gases that are trapped in it. They're called combustibles. I don't want to use big words here. But they, as soon as you heat wood, it turns into hydrogen, it turns into carbon monoxide, it turns into methane, and the fire actually lives off burning those gases. So what we're trying to do with the fabulous or the fabulous is to try and use some wood pellets that are used in a number of fires and blow a little bit of air into the right places in the fire, very much like the way a weaver works with charcoal. And what we do is we make sure that we burn all the fuel and we have a curtain of air that comes across the top of the, the little fire fire container that eliminates any smoke that comes out of it. Who who would use this? I mean, what is the intended market for so, this kind of so stove? The intended, the, in the, the stove we really call it the the wood fire that makes its own gas. So it, it is a, a single plate stove. It would work in an environment where people were to use normally paraffin or somebody were to use LPG. So um, paraffin is, has its health, health and, and safety risks. I'm sure you're aware of them. And LPG uh, normally works out at about twice the cost of, 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 of paraffin. So we are trapped in an environment where we say, well, both of them are fossil fuels. Paraffin is dangerous, LPG is safe, but it costs a lot. And so what we're really trying to do is we're trying to provide people in shacks and campers, I guess, if you're camping, but we're trying to provide the ability to cook food uh, in a safe environment uh, with no smoke and no fire risk. It's really what it is. 
And the wood pellets that are necessary for this thing to, to do its job, are those easily obtainable and relatively inexpensive? They, they work out at about six rand a kilogram. They, we use about half a kilogram per hour, so it works out at about three rand an hour. And if you were to take a two kilowatt plate and plug it into the wall, you're probably paying the same amount for electricity. So it's very comparable. We do have a challenge with pellets. Um, pellets are freely available across North America and Europe. In South Africa, we don't have a pellet plant in the Western Cape. So part of my announcement today is, is that we will be investing in a pellet plant and we will be turning waste into energy. The pellets are actually made from waste. So we take the sawdust and chips that come out of a, a, tim a timber mill and we turn those into energy and we're able to actually turn waste into energy. So uh, we say the benefit of this little device is that we can, number one, is stop the chopping of trees and secondly, we can eliminate the smoke that normally is, comes off a wood fire if you were to make a wood fire inside the shack. Yet another example of how South Africans can make a plan. Dave Lello, thank you very much indeed, founder of Ikasi Energy and inventor of the fabulous biomass stove. Back to water and back to a WhatsApp voice note. John, good afternoon. The city has launched... Um, some domestic water metering technology some some years ago I think seven seven odd years ago whereby by virtue of this technology they are already able to restrict consumers to uh, 350 liters of water per day those are consumers designated or marked as um, yeah, marked as indigent consumers however there's also the option of consumers applying for these water meters and then having their water 